Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access to Trade.com uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, before we get started, guys, uh, I want to uh, wish uh, all the great service people who fought uh, and unfortunately died for this incredible country so we can have uh, the luxuries and the freedoms uh, to do whatever we pretty much want. So uh, I want to wish, and uh, honestly, let's you know, let's wish all current, uh, active, and retired um, soldiers, um, you know, soldiers all across uh, the world that are serving and protecting this very, very big thank you. Uh, and happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Hope everybody is doing great. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for spending uh, a few minutes uh, with us. Uh, only thing I ask, if you like the content, uh, just take one second out of your time, uh, click the like button, share, subscribe, come aboard, uh, and hopefully, again, we can continue to give you uh, the day-to-day -day look with an unbiased approach. Before we get to the update, uh, for all you guys who uh, are interested, uh, we are having our Memorial Day 30-day kind of kick the tire uh, to start off the summer. Uh, look, if you if you feel that you haven't gone anywhere in your career yet or you're starting to get it, but you know maybe you need something from an alternative point of view, uh, the PS60 theory and, and pivots are a pretty neat way uh, to navigate the markets. If you are interested, there's a link in the comment section. Uh, there's a uh, discounted link to see, again, if it's the right fit for you. So let's talk about the tape. Uh, another week, uh, more new highs continue for uh, majority of the major moving averages. You have uh, the S&P, uh, S&P up a little bit flattish. Uh, the Dow fell down a couple of percent. NASDAQ continue its incredible breakout that we had on uh, May the 3rd when we reclaimed back uh, the 50-day moving average. And this is kind of where you see a lot of new, newer novices traders still talking about that the market is overbought. It, it, guys, it's not. It's just really, really not. Um, it, again, if we were six months above the 50-day moving average, at least you have a leg to stand on, okay? We're, what, three weeks? Not even three weeks. Say so what? Say, so yeah, three weeks. We're three weeks above the 50-day moving average. This was a, a very, very big deal. Uh, as you saw on Thursday, there was a a pretty ugly reversal uh, in equity prices, especially considering the video. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, reported great numbers. Uh, FOMC minutes came out midday. Hawkish stance, not really in a rush uh, to cut rates. So my point is, the market's not going to go down. It's not going to go up uh, every single second of this interval. But the point is, that is the direction, right? That's the directional bias. That is the sentiment. And for the market to get really killed. I think that's the best way of saying it. We got to get below the 50 day. And, and you can see we are clearly, you know, what, 20, 22 points above uh, the 50 day moving average on the Qs, uh, the spies, the spending, you know, despite a flat, uh, a flat week. Uh, it, look, at least look, if you are bearish on this market, and I don't know why you would be, but if you are bearish in this market for the SPY, we would need to lose, let's use the SPX as a brawler. We would need to lose at least 5256 for a tradable move down uh, into the 5230s. Okay, that's you can't start anticipating. We had this at least reversal bar engulfed about a week's worth of buying on the hawkish comments, but for for us to go lower, if you're trading on the SPX side or using that as a barometer, uh, we need to get below 5256. Other than that, as you can see here, it held even on that reversal day. It held a 10 day. It put in a higher low on Friday, and again we had a very very uh, magnificent um, patriotic rally, right? Patriotic rally ahead of uh, the Memorial Day weekend. And if you are brand new, uh, tomorrow we are off. Okay, so if you're trying to uh, log in tomorrow morning, Monday morning, uh, before you start uh, throwing things at your monitor and screaming at the top of your lungs, we're off. Everything's closed, so enjoy your day off. Uh, another group continues uh, to to shine, right? Is is these uh, cryptos, right? Cryptos, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin again hanging around uh, that fifty, uh, excuse me, seventy thousand level. 
Uh, you got Ethereum running up this weekend. The reason why I, I'm bringing this up, usually I wouldn't talk about this, uh, but you do have Ethereum uh, jump about 20% this week uh, in hopes that the ET, uh, SEC will approve uh, an ETF. And the reason why I bring that up, start looking at some of these uh, Bitcoin plays. Uh, Coinbase has a really, really great looking setup. Like if this was Tesla, NVIDIA, Amazon, man, I would be both hands all in, right? Look how close we are to really getting above a channel that started on April the 22nd. This is how close we are on Coinbase. And if Coinbase could start pushing, if Bitcoin could start surging, especially uh, maybe you know today in, into Monday, and this thing finally gets above this uh, April channel, Coinbase looks amazing. This is probably the nicest looking chart uh, that is ready to go that hasn't confirmed uh, its entire range. Uh, another name that looks great, it really does, is Mara. Okay, Mara uh, came out of this range, uh, came back in, not sure why, again, I don't follow these stocks that close, put in a double top, uh, double top on May the 22nd. And now all it needs to do is get above the May 26 highs on, on, a, on a closing basis, and this thing could wake up. So uh, you know, for all you guys who are, um, you know, for all you guys who are trading the Bitcoin names, or trading Bitcoin, or uh, all these cryptocurrencies, pay attention uh, to Mara, Coinbase. Uh, somebody asked me about Riot. Riot is not anywhere near uh, the other two names. Can you know? Can you know? Can it grind higher? It does, but you see all this, all these lines, right? You see all these lines. All these lines represent supply. Okay, this is all above supply. So. It, it's going to be a lot harder for a riot to start going unless it starts gapping. It's going to start. It's going to be very, very tough for riot to get going versus a Mara that is, you know, all you know, all angels ready to ready to go stairways to heaven because all this supply is gone all the way to twenty seven. And versus uh, Coinbase, right? A Coinbase doesn't have any supply uh, once it gets above this range, so all the way to two two eighty six. So Coinbase, Mara, those are the two cleanest views. Uh, especially if uh, if uh, Bitcoin starts rallying again, Ethereum starts rallying again, you could see these uh, Coinbase names uh, start waking up. Other than that, let's go through some technology names. Uh, Tesla continues to be an enigma. Um, you know, had an opportunity to break out on earnings, came all the way back in, uh, had a chance for a second day run uh, when it had this great, great move for us on Tuesday. Put in now three days in a row. Actually, you can make a case four days in a row of lower highs, lower lows. So again, the jury's still out on this. I would really love to see Tesla get back above the highs from Tuesday because if we can, we will start attacking that 200 level. The problem is it's not having, it's just can't do enough to make anything as establish headwaves for it to get to clear out all these supply zones. And again, it's a very, very... Well, um, you know, again, if you're a shareholder of the stock, is you know, this, this is kind of a uh, a drawn out movie that just for some reason just doesn't have an ending. Has a lot of twists and turns, just doesn't have an ending. Uh, Nvidia continues to be Nvidia. I mean, everybody saw the headlines on earnings: two hundred fifty six percent year over year, eleven hundred percent in growth in five years. Uh, again, dividend increase. Uh, they announced a ten for one split again. It's it's going to be it's going to be very very interesting to see, uh, and they split by the way June the seventh. It's going to be very very interesting to see uh, if the stock continues to trade really well, uh, like a Tesla, or is it going to kind of fizzle out because of the ten for one split? Kind of start trading more like a Google, Amazon. Not, there's nothing wrong with those stocks. It's just that they, they don't you know they're not going to give you that seven eight twelve dollar move. Uh, on an interval or you know a $20 move uh, overnight. So it's gonna be very, very interesting to see. Uh, any dips, you know, any dips continue to continue to buy this on dips. They're probably gonna run this thing uh, into the June 7th uh, split. You have a little bit of supply here coming up this week around 1074. So if you are trading uh, the video this week, just keep in mind this linear regression line matters. Matter of fact, you, you can see it last time it hit the linear regression line was January, February, which March the 8th, and it reversed uh, for two days. So keep this in mind. Okay, keep this in mind. 
you know, watch that 1174, 1170, excuse me, 1074, 1075 level. If you start seeing it stalling out there, that's a really good place to, you know, maybe start exiting your positions or really trimming down your positions if you're swinging it. Or if you're an experienced trader and you see, hey, it's having a hard time uh, on this 1074, 1075. You know, I, I watched Dan's video. He showed me last time on 3 8th where, where it stalled out of this linear regression line in reverse. It might not be a crazy place to maybe entertain a short, obviously, with the high of the day uh, as you're out. Uh, Meta. Meta looks fantastic going into this week. Uh, really, really strong move on, on Friday. You can see how close it is. It's still below the 50-day moving average. But this week, if it could get back above the 50-day, the first close above the 50-day, you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of institutional money flow come in. If you look at the 60-minute view, boy, look at this flag here. Right, guys? Look at this flag here uh, setting up for Tuesday's session. So that looks uh, really, really uh, good uh, as well. Uh, one name for some reason is having a problem is Amazon. Don't add. I just don't get it. Okay. I don't get it. Uh, every stock has been rallying ever since it came out earnings. It's just been a lagger. And you know, now this is day two closing below the 50 day moving average. This is the only stock that didn't rally uh, in the tech space in the last couple of days. You know what? It's the old day. Adam says, whatever doesn't go up must go down. And you know, I'm going to watch it. Listen, I'm, you, you want to always be prepared on both sides of the market, but when, when a, a leader, right, when a, when a market leader, tech leader is not rallying and there is always, you know, a chance the market does go down at any point, you want to be prepared on both sides. So this is definitely one that I'm focusing on the downside if we do go down. Obviously, I want to stick to the ones that are moving higher because that is the trend, but any weakness or heaviness on technology aims, uh, especially at the early part of the week, this is the one I want to watch uh, and focus on in case it starts losing uh, last week's range. A name to consider for a potential swing is Neo. Raise your hand if you've seen a, a Neo on the road. Yeah, me either, right? They don't sell cars in China, and God knows how many of these Neos are actually in China. The point is, Neo, right, spent the majority of last year below the 50 day. And, and this is my point. You see it right, right over here on January the 8th, right? You see it? First close below the 50-day moving average, and look what followed, right? It closed uh, at 793 below the 50-day, and the stock went all the way down to 378, right? So the stock got cut in half. Guys, that's kind of the situation we're looking at NEO as well going into this week, right? It's holding the 50-day moving average by the skin of its teeth. First close below the 50-day. I'm getting short this thing, okay? I'm going to I'm gonna get short this thing and use the previous day's high as my out, because if this thing starts a selling cycle just the way it did uh, going back to January, well, why can't we test, revisit the lows again? So this is definitely one I want to watch for a potential multi-day, multi-week swing uh, if it plays out that way. First close below uh, the 50-day moving average, um, I want to be a seller uh, in the stock. Let me give you guys a couple of other names. Obviously, uh, I do like um, I do like Tesla. Uh, well, excuse me, not Tesla. I do like Meta, uh, Nvidia on dips until uh, until um, the split day. Look at the stock here, MNGI or M, excuse me, MGNI, right? MGNI. I don't know what this thing is. This thing looks great, right? You had two, you had two big gap ups, went sideways, profit taking. Uh, this thing is very, very close to getting on top of this range here. And starting to move high. This looks really, really good. So for all you guys who trade, you know, $12, $13 stocks, this looks uh really, really ready to go. So again, summer has kicked off, not officially. June 21st is the start of summer. But when it's 85 degrees and you're able to barbecue and go swimming and you know, just enjoying life. Hey man, you know, dates are just uh just well, they are. That's all they are. Dates on the calendar. It is gorgeous outside and it's time to live life. So for all you guys who are interested in Pivots, guys, take advantage of the discount, the trial. See for yourself. Again, it's not an alert service. It's not a brainless alerts. Buy the stock at 15, then didn't sell it here. You, you show you how to trade these pivots. The PS60 theory, we're the only ones who are training this process on the whole planet. Uh, and if it's something that you are interested or have considered, 
uh, this is a perfect opportunity to try it. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. God bless all the veterans. God bless all the fallen soldiers. God bless all uh, the active soldiers. And mo most important, God bless us all. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Take care.